Okay, folks, we have a 1972 Chevrolet K10 Custom Deluxe 4x4, short bed, 115 inch wheelbase, fleet side truck. It has a 350 four speed with a thumper cam in it with a aluminum Edelbrock tunnel ram intake and Edelbrock 600 carburetor and headers with dual exhaust two and a half inch all the way out the back and flow masters four inch lift kit old school style uh, 35 inch bfgs on 16.5 old school i think they're center line wheels aluminum alloy and uh that's a i'll go over some things uh, people will probably like to ask uh truck was restored about five years ago by the previous owner um, put quite a bit of money into the truck and I finished the restoration um, I did some interior work and some chrome and emblems and under the hood stuff and some seals and just little knick-knack stuff so anyway I'm gonna walk around and give you a little feel for what it looks like a lot of people are asking for some close-ups of the lower areas and I didn't detail underneath yet um, and it just didn't get to it but it could use a good detail underneath but um, everything else the interior and all is all brand new leather I'll just go a quick walk around here first and then we'll the body work is you know in my eyes I, I wish it was better it's pretty straight but the paint is you know it's, it really looks good going down the road but it's not a concourse restoration but it, it it's definitely passable a lot of people won't even notice the stuff the critical eye i have the truck did come from originally san jose california that's where it was sold chevrolet dealer son's messing with me here and the truck was sold to somebody in Indiana and then ended up in Illinois. And now it's in New Jersey. And it is kept in my pole barn, climate control behind the truck, as you could see. Get a little shot under the hood here. I detailed it up a little bit, it stayed with black, the theme that he had going on already. Um, the radiator was replaced, alternator, carburetor I rebuilt, new air cleaner and uh, K&N style filter, uh, new brake um, master cylinder. I think the booster was replaced prior to me. I just detailed it up. It does have headers. I think they're hooker headers, auto block. Um, valve covers, uh, it has roller rockers. I got some photos of them if anybody wants to see them. Uh, power steering lines replaced, uh, the seals in the power steering box replaced. I don't like oil leaks, and I put the extra thick uh, high performance valve cover gaskets on it, and you can take them off and on and as many times as you want. A new electric choke, HEI distributor, timing is set at about 20 degrees right now, really advanced because it has a big cam in it. It's called the thumper cam. Um, tires are old honestly I was going to replace them and I have uh, I was going to put a set of uh, Chevy truck rallies on here I'm not really that fond of aluminum but and I was going to throw a new set of tires on it too because these are actually pretty old and they're actually starting to dry rot uh, but the tread is excellent on them they're like brand new um, let's see okay we'll go around sorry about that I'll give you a shot of in the bed and then we'll go into the interior real fast. There's the lower sections. Everybody likes to see that. No rust, the rockers were all replaced. Paint actually really looks pretty. It's base coat, clear coat, acrylic urethane. Um, like I said, it's not concourse, but it's excellent for a pickup truck. Shot it inside the bed. It's 
just uh, there's some paint chipped off where they I guess they didn't prep the bed real good so and that's not a rust hole or anything and you can see the towel gate is actually very solid as well there's no rust back there in the corners like everybody these trucks are common commonly rust in those areas it has new uh, I was told uh, new fender wells on both sides of the bed there's the lower back end for you and we'll get a shot of the lowers on this side lower fenders correct custom deluxe emblems all of the glass on this truck was replaced you have to excuse me I live near an airport so you'll hear some planes flying over there you go <laughs> new antenna new rubber gaskets uh, new side glass tenant new vent windows new mirrors New back glass tenant, new rubber gaskets, new outside door handles. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, new leather door panels, armrest, um, floor mat, the upholstery is all new. Stainless steel sill plates, so they're not a rusty like most of these trucks have. Um, the jams and all were painted nicely. Um, that's a new rubber floor mat, as I said. I got my Chevelle mats in there right now. Um, <laughs> unfortunately somebody prior to us cut the dash for a later model stereo and so I put a Pioneer in here and I went with a Bluetooth and that's up there and it has a leather headliner interior light works tall street is actually pretty nice seat belts are here and they do work and uh, four-wheel drive shifter the boots and all that are all been replaced and transmission is actually rebuilt and the engine i think i failed to mention is a crate motor it's not the original motor heater does work cigarette lighter and we'll get to the other side and i'll show you the gauges <coughs> that is a gm style aftermarket steering wheel smaller diameter a lot of people can't notice that visors and all work and uh it has one little spot right here i'll try to get it with the light here one little bubble here above the windshield very very minimal right there okay and it's it's not a big deal but i just want full disclosure to everybody um once we, before we get over to the other side uh, the dash pad's been replaced as well as the gauge cluster as you can see door lock knobs here's a shot of the spid sheet okay Everyone refers to this as the spid sheet. It's a service parts identification. Um, let me see if I can get it panned in here so you can read that. And you can see it is 115 inch wheelbase original truck, CKE 142. And you can see KE 10734. Okay, that is the model. And you can see the truck has posi traction rear end, and it is a 410 posi. It was just serviced. It was rebuilt prior to me, but I always like to check the fluids myself, so I replaced it and put additive in it, as I did with all the fluids. Um, transmission was rebuilt, new clutch, throw out bearing, pile out bearing, the whole nine yards. Um, it was an original dark blue truck. I think it was changed to green sometime during its life and changed back over. It did have all the gauges except for the tack, and I added the tack to it. Um, it had an AM radio, of course that was replaced. And you can see tenant glass, front lock and hubs, and it had a 350 in it. No big blocks were installed in these 4x4s, a lot of people didn't know that. And it was a California truck, as you can see there, and power steering truck, heavy duty radiator, custom deluxe equipment, blue cloth trim. Um, I kept it at custom deluxe, somebody else had Cheyenne Super emblems, and they, I wasn't installing them. So the truck is done correct the way it was supposed to. The only thing I didn't do is I did not put uh, any body side moldings on the truck. And I think there, it called for a body side molding. So so anyway, I didn't go with them. Usually the Custom Deluxe uh, has, has that. So, so anyway, 
They had a front chrome bumper. That's brand new as well. So let's roll around. Uh, you know what? Let's take a look at this paperwork. <clears throat> Got the original owner's manual, and this is the basically like a book they gave you back in the day when you bought the truck. Got a wiring diagram. Owner's manuals in there. Original owner's manual. A bunch of paperwork. We won't go through all that right now, but. Um, one thing I do have for this truck, everyone will be kind of surprised, is, let's see, oh, I have the original build sheet for this truck, and I actually keep it inside, I don't keep it in the truck, I just have it out here for now for the video, give you a shot of this, this is something amazing, I only owned one truck in all my life that had this other than this one, and this is just amazing. It was under the seat when they reupholstered the seat. They pulled it out and saved it. And take a good look at that. Seeing Jose, California, where this truck came from. And you can see all the dark blue, the cloth interior and all, but the bottom right. And you see right here, four-speed transmission, V8, tinted glass, everything. And this is the original build sheet that came with the truck. 53072, you can see the date at the top left this is something you don't want to leave in your glove box i just put it out here for now just to show you guys i keep a copy of it though for you know showing people and stuff i keep it in my safe so something you don't want to lose because you can't replace so okay let's move around to the other side the grill and the outer grill inner and outer grill have been replaced And they're new headlight buckets as well. New blinkers, new emblems, custom deluxe emblems, new mirrors, new gas cap, new rubber seal. And everything has been pretty much replaced on this truck. And I, I actually went for all the gauges. Um, I figured why not why, while they're out. I actually replaced Everything, I didn't do the uh, speedometer, and I have a new cable to install, which I didn't do yet. Uh, you can see there, I put a vacuum gauge in. Let me get a little closer here. Vacuum gauge, oil pressure gauge, and all works. Fuel gauge works, has a new sending unit. And there's the new GM steering wheel, GM style. Smaller diameter, you can see it's, if I go back, you can notice it's a little bit smaller. I think, I think it's 15 inch, they call it. Not cheap, uh, very expensive. Took me a while to finally get that. I got a new horn button too. And it does not have tilt wheel um, or air conditioning, as you can see that under the hood, obviously. But solid up here under the visors. Does have some chip paint on the other side, no big deal. So anyway, upholstery looks good over here. All the glass, like I said, all new. Trip rail. It has a little, little spot here on the drip rail. I'll get a shot of that. Not a big deal. Nothing to worry about. The roof looks great. Okay, uh, the kick panel speakers, I failed to mention them, sorry. Um, I installed them as well. So much easier to have your music going. And actually, they, they sound really well. Uh, new brake release. New outer shell of the dash um, uh, gauge cluster there all new LED lights as well that really lights them up nice and all the needles have been restored new rear view mirror that's brand new and you got the leather headliner I'll try to get a shot underneath so people could see that it's not really much to look at because I didn't detail it but the suspension lift and uh, headers and all that and 205 transfer case and all the bearings and all have been replaced the things tight as can be there's nothing to replace tire on ends nothing um it is an old school lift and rubber bushings are good let me see I'm trying to get you a shot of the mounts the body supports and all are good okay And we go around to the rear. 
no rust on there there. Needs to be detailed though. Um, go around here. Uh, the rear, I, I painted it up when I had it apart and I replaced the gasket and all and uh, double checked the gears and and that's all been replaced and rebuilt. I talked to the previous owner about it. I just wanted to detail it up a little bit more underneath. I just haven't had a chance. I was actually in the hospital for for about nine days. COVID. So that's pretty much it. Oh, probably forgot. So it does have a hitch on the back. Receiver, I should say. Tag lights work. All everything works. And I guess I'll fire up. Doors shut and open fine. Windows go down and up. Wipers work. They're new. New blades on the wipers. New antenna. This video is getting awful long. So, uh, take another look at the engine. Wiring could be neatened up a little bit more. Okay, let's fire her up. Truck really runs good. Okay, the choke's on right now. Got a pretty big cam in it. The radio. Uh, we got Skinner right after this one. You've had 94.3. Uh, get some music on. I can let you hear the stereo. Uh, all the gauges. See, the oil pressure is really good here. Okay. It's not warm yet. Showing 17,639. Obviously, that's over and the engine has been replaced. It only has about 10,500 miles on the truck right now on the engine. So, I can kick the choke off. You can hear the real idle. We get the emergency brake works too. Okay. cold obviously it's tight on about 750 800 rpms truck runs great I kicked the choke off a little too soon but that's okay let me hear truck sounds great All right. Anybody has any questions, just leave a message underneath or email me. That's about it. Thanks for watching.